I, I was at the Scottish Yarn Festival in Perth on Saturday and I just loved it so much. I wanted to make a short video in just sharing a few of the things I liked about it. One of the things I was desperate to go and see and buy is this yarn. Now this is the yarn that Eva Christie, um, the main organiser behind the festival, has brought out. It is Scottish provenance yarn. It's um, from sheep um, in Scotland and it's been spun in Yorkshire. And it is 80% Shetland and 20% Cheviot. Feels amazing and smells. If you know, if you know, you know. It smells gorgeous. Um, the the colours were beautiful when I saw them for real. Just such an absolutely wonderful palette. Um, Eva, you've done so well putting them together. Um, because I know you'll be watching this. Um, really, really like them. Hats off to you. Um, I couldn't choose. I did choose. <laughs> for now, I'm just going for this one. I'm sure I will buy many more. It's available in double knitting, which I've gone for, and four ply. I decided to go for a double knit. Um, I'm going to design something in this. Uh, I'll probably pop a poll up on Instagram just for um, your feedback on what I should design in this. Um, the colourway, by the way, I chose Wallace in the end. Um, it was really just a no, 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 that one. <laughs> I, I couldn't choose. I loved the colours were just all my, all my favourite colours. So um, I went for this one, possibly because it's slightly autumnal. Um, maybe that was my thinking. It just, it feels great. Cannot wait to get started, which I probably will tomorrow. I'm probably going to start some swatches in this tomorrow. I'm very busy today, um, but tomorrow... I will start swatching. Today is Monday, the, the first Monday after the festival. For those of you who are tuning in later, Monday the 11th of September. So that was one of my main purchases of the day. Um, the other thing I was after was some mini skeins because I'm making a Battenberg blanket and I was looking for just being able to pick and choose some mini skeins um, in the colours that I'm missing on my Battenberg blanket. I wonder if I can reach it. I think I can. I wasn't intending to show the blanket here on this video, but for those of you who don't know the Battenberg blanket, this is the Battenberg blanket. It's traditionally crocheted in white or cream as your contrast colour. <laughs> Me being different, I've gone for yellow. I love yellow. And if I hold it up, you can see there's not much green and there are very few other neutrals, actually. Kind of browns and beiges. Um, so those were the colours I was looking for. And oh, there's a train going past. Just bear with me a second. Yeah, just a wee one. Right. I've got the windows open. It's still warm. If you were at the festival on Saturday, it was scorching. I believe yesterday was slightly cooler, but I, I don't actually know what the temperature was in Perth on Saturday, but it was such a hot day. Um, everyone was just boiling. Um, so I have the windows open. That is slightly cooler, but we've still got that wind coming up from the south. I'm just slightly north of Perth um, in Scotland. So these I got from Needle and Fred, um, which is a lovely play on words. And I'm chuffed to bits with them. Um, so I've got a green and I've got a few neutrals and I've got a blue. I don't have anything like this blue in the blanket. So that's another one I've gone for. And yeah, they're going to work in nicely. Let's see if I hold the blanket up again. I've already, I'll show you in a moment, I've already actually crocheted up some in another of the, the skeins I got on the day. So you can see I'm wearing a yellow top. Yellow is one of my favourite colours. So these are going to work in really, really nicely. Happy with them. Also on the day, uh, this isn't something I bought, but a lovely friend of mine who um, we've been following each other on social media for a long time and Fiona has in fact tested a few of my patterns for me. Fiona heard that I was looking for greens and came up to me at the festival with this sweet little bag. It's got a stitch marker on it as well with two green based mini skeins of yarn. Look, isn't that just the kindest? 
Um, so thank you, Fiona, if you're watching. Um, that was so sweet of you. I was just so surprised by your your kindness, your generosity, your thoughtfulness. Um, that really made my day. And it was lovely to meet uh, Fiona and, and other people at the festival in person. Uh, that was one of my favourite things, was meeting people that I'd only seen online. Um, whether it was me going up to them at stalls or some people recognise me just from my videos on YouTube, from uh, Instagram, places like that, and introduced themselves as well. So that was really, really nice. And I also got a ton of messages from people saying they saw me, but were too shy to come and say hi. So if that was you, um, please don't be shy. Just, you know, approach these people, whether it's me, someone else, you know, we're all, we're all just people. Um, what's the worst that can happen? Um, and uh, yeah, it's just lovely to speak to people and, you know, um, do reach out. I One of the things that I did was to speak to a designer on the day and um, they have agreed to collaborate with me in providing yarn for a crochet pattern, which is just so, so cool. Um, so you just don't know what's going to happen when you just start a conversation with someone um you know so do reach out do do be bold do say hi um even if later you're like oh my goodness <laughs> but yeah it's, it's just a confidence thing believe me i am not a confident person um you might not think that from the videos but i'm really not um and i had a table at the day of, up in the silly mcwheelie designer explorium which was just up um, if you've seen the layout from the festival there was a little kind of a, a terrace bit up above I guess where um, you'd watch the the ice skating or the curling um, from and uh, that was that was really good I had a wee table just for an hour from 12 till 1 on the day and I'd said to my newsletter subscribers that if they came up to me on the day and said newsletter then they would get a project bag and I gave them one of my Lazy Days um, project bags. Just, just the bag, not the full kit, just um, one of the bags. And that was just a lovely way to interact. And I guess it made people who maybe would have been that little bit shy to come up and speak to me to come up and say newsletter. And uh, lovely to just chat to them, um, find out what, which patterns of mine they'd made. And I had samples out on the table and I could meet other people as well. And I mean... And I was given away a mitts pattern on the day if you signed up to my, ma my mailing list. And if you're already on my mailing list, I put out a special offer. Um, just from 12 till 1, you could have got that pattern from free as well. So if you haven't already, do sign up to my mailing list because um, I do little fun things like that. I give away the best um, discount codes as well. So that's just a wee aside. Right, I've accidentally put this blanket over my knee. Ugh, it's so hot today. <laughs> Something else I wanted to pick up on the day was the latest issue of Murit magazine. This is issue five. Those mitts, they look just amazing. Um, so I'm going to get stuck in, make those. I've been looking up the yarns. I've been um, just having a wee flick through yesterday evening. Uh, it's such... Sorry, I'm busy looking down. It's um, Alison and the team have pulled off another fantastic issue and I got to meet Alison as well um, I hadn't ever met her in person before and that was really cool and I got myself a couple of wee stickers for my journal one with just crochet hooks can you see it yeah you can it's got a bit of a holographic shine to it and so does this one um yeah they had the previous issues as well and um, you could pick up if you have pre-ordered and got that yummy fresh inky smell which I really love. Can't recommend Murat enough if you haven't discovered it already it's a, um, a journal really it's more than a magazine it's a, um, a big beefy let's show you the side you know it's book thickness and it is packed with crochet patterns and that one has its first knitting pattern in it as well by Jeanette Sloan, who I saw on the day as well. Uh, she was very busy when I, every time I passed her, I didn't actually get to speak to her, but I did see her. And I met Susan as well from the Journal of Scottish Yarns. Um, and it was so nice to meet her in person. We've only chatted on Zoom and things. So that was another of my big meets. Um, 
it was it was just such a lovely lovely atmosphere everyone was so friendly from i mean the time i went through on the train and the doors took a moment or two to open i don't know if there was some sort of issue with the door release or whatever and the person behind me said come on i've got a yarn festival to get to you know and i just turned and said oh me too you know and you know everyone was just um kind of in that same um that same buzz it was just just lovely i went up on the train like i say there with my mum and a couple of her friends and um yeah they looked around they bought stuff and i kind of went around at my own pace i guess it was slightly different from me i kind of had uh, people i wanted to see and yarns i definitely wanted to um go and squish um and my mum was looking for some two ply something quite fine well two ply is fine um it's got i can't remember what she bought in the end but it's got silk in it and it is silk and alpaca i think it's it's absolutely stunning in a lovely natural cream color she's going to make a baby blanket so that was that was her big find and then later in the day two of my friends came my real life friends came and surprised me i didn't even know they were going to be coming there was a little bit of a, a maybe but you know, I hadn't expected it exactly, especially as I got caught up in the day. And then they, they turned up, um, Gwen and Julia, and it was just so lovely to see them and just have them there to support me when I was at my stall, actually. So that was really nice. They could help with last minute things there. Um, my mum and her friends were there as I was setting that up as well, which was very handy. And I've got another couple of things to show you. So I've got some more mini skeins. I got three uh, and that is the other one already it has become Battenberg squares and already I've actually incorporated it into the blanket that's this one here um, there so that's kind of a, a khaki uh, foresty green one with speckles and little blue bits and red bits and I have these two quite different this one's another nice brown which I was wanting and I'm looking forward to this one because it's not quite such a solid colour. It's going to be a bit more um, bitty, I guess. Can't think of another word for it just now. But more like, it's, I guess it's going to come out slightly more like this rather than like this, which is what I was buying it for. Love that colour. Let's see, has it got an actual... No, it doesn't have a name on it. Um, but these... All my minis were 75% merino, 25% nylon. All of them. So these ones were mothy and the squid. And yeah, hard to choose. So many mini skeins, really hard to choose. So on the day, there was actually so much to take in that I didn't take many photos uh, or videos. Uh, I did take a few and I'll, I'll pop them in and just a little um, sort of slidey show thing for you to see now. Now the last thing to show you, I was on the train home and I saw just this sticking out the top of my mum's bag and then um, I said, hmm, what's that? She was like, mm, 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 nothing, nothing. And then she's like, oh, I'll just give it to you now. So I think this was destined to be for my Christmas. You can see it's a box. <laughs> it's the Zodiac Collection from Steely McWheelie and here comes in a beautiful box and this is what my mum chose for me when i opened it there was i got to open it on the train she said oh, i'll just give it to you <laughs> there was a lovely big generous sized tote bag which would be good for a kind of jumper weight project there you go you can see her logo there if you're not familiar with her and um, i think in my podcast episode i said um i couldn't remember where celia mcwheelie shop was based and it's in Kirkintilloch. Somebody um, replied and left me a comment with that. I, just off the top of my head it just went. Um, there was a pin badge. Let's see if that's coming in. There we go. And here are the mini skins. Look! 
They are beautiful. So there are 12 mini skeins. They are 20 grams each. And I believe they are 100% merino. Um, my mum told me. I don't actually see a label on them. And I've, I can't see the information. But my mum told me they are 100% merino. There's no nylon in them. Uh, there are 12 of them. And there is one for each of the zodiac signs. Love the colours. Um, vibrant, with a little bit of mutedness to them. A um, little bit of variation. And I will be making a design in these two. Probably a scarf, I'm thinking. Um, something stripy. I will get my thinking cap on. Um, and do something with those. And I believe that is it. So I didn't actually spend too much. Um, there was the Murit, the skein of yarn from the Scottish Yarn Festival itself, uh, the mini skeins, and I don't I don't tend to keep a big stash. So what I buy tends to be things that I'm needing because um, that's just the way the way that I work. So I was kind of going with a specific. This is what I need. Um, otherwise, I think at a festival like that could be really overwhelming. There is so much to see um, and take in and it could be very easy to just buy all the skeins of yarn um, and go crazy or come home with a load of mini skeins and you're just not entirely sure what you're going to do with them. So I went with purpose and that's what I got other than my surprise from my mum. So thank you mum, I know that you watch my podcast so um, thank you very much, that is very kind. And I hope you've all enjoyed this little peek into the Scottish Yarn Festival experience. I'm sure they'll be back next year. So if you haven't been before or you haven't been for a few years, uh, then do go along. It'll be a wonderful day. Bye for now.